Hello there everybody, I'm Harper 94 and welcome back to another Corpse Party 100%-ish. I kind of had no choice but to do another one because I had no other games in mind and I wanted to play something else, but nevertheless, last we left off we beat Chapter 3, we got all the name tags in the chapter as well, and we are going to head on to Chapter 4 in this walkthrough. Continue. Okay. Anyway, new game. View the chapter four opening. Let's do it. Chapter four, I think, has more name tags than chapter three. Hello. Okay, so we have two siblings. He's a male, you're a female. I think it's very natural for him to hide whatever he ha has under his hands. Well, this kind of shows off Seiko's crazy side. Well, not that we've seen it already. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying, I think I, uh, okay. Well, you can't be a kid forever. <laughs> I think that's going a bit too far. Yeah. Yeah, that's going a bit too far. Well, 
Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but your sister is dead. I... I don't remember that bird ever splatting on that window, though. I kinda don't remember this part. Well, that's kind of how parents are at times. They get along and then they don't. Oh, hey, it's you. I think this is the time where she was first waking up. Calm down, just calm down. I know you're in a scary place right now. I know you're about to die, but please calm down. Maybe it flew out of your hand when you were falling? Oh, 
I thought you were just hungry from the sound of it. I wouldn't go in there. Oh, you. Well, I guess that's that. Anyway, as I was trying to say before, as I was trying to say before, I think this chapter has more name tags than the other ones that we've done. So I'm going to try and search every little place thoroughly like I've been doing and try not to miss a spot. You're in the same hallway Mayu was. Hmm. Okay, here's a name tag right here. Our skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here. Okay, that's one name tag. I thought he does something right there. I don't know. Okay. There's a yellowed sheet of notebook paper on the floor next to the body. The shakiness of the lettering and the contents of the contents of the Miranda suggests that the writer was on the verge of death well before pen touched paper. I need water so badly. I'm hungry, sure, but I can deal with the hunger. It's the thirst I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Satoshi Matsubura, he tried drinking that filthy tap water from the sink of the bathroom. But he threw it all up almost immediately and it burned his chest and throat so badly that he wound up dying. I've tried to think outside the box, even going so far as to drink my own spit, but needless to say, it didn't help matters one bit. My tongue's so swollen at this point that I can't even talk. Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here. If only I could have found a way to gather some of that rainwater, Satoshi might still be alive. It's almost as if someone's playing a cruel joke on me, showing me more and more water than I've ever seen before, but putting it just outside my reach. Somebody wrote that there is a whole other wing at this school, uh, access through an outer walkway, but I've never found it. As a last resort, I'm going to try drinking my own blood. Oh boy, my name is my name is Haidmasa Kaujima. I'm an 11th grader in class 2-4 at Izaki West High. If anyone's reading this ever, if anyone reading this ever makes it out of here alive, please 
tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be a missing person for the rest of my li rest of his life. I hate the idea of him always wondering where I went, or if I'm even still alive. It seemed to continue, but the rest of it is completely drenched in, drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. It's the body of a high schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only died here mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that notepad, or that note, uh, that note was one and the body was another. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. Okay. Anything over here? Hello. It's a horribly decayed corpse with an absolutely rancid odor. You're obviously not friendly, so... Custodian's closet. The door is locked. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. Yes, it is. Thank you for pointing that out. Satoshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. Kibiki research data Okay, so far I'm not getting anywhere just by wandering around like this. So I'm going to go over... Let's see what's in here first. Infirmary. Okay, I can't inspect that. Monthly go, let's all wash our hands and remember our mommies and daddies. Remember them and cry because we can't go home anymore. How depressing is that? Oh, excuse me. There's a blood splattered no there's a blood splattered notebook on the desk with the word diary written on the written in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop, however, it is practically molded on the, de de the desk. It can't be moved or opened. The shelves are lined with various medicines and tonics. There is a conspicuous gap circled with dust, suggesting someone removed a bottle just recently. There is a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades, blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Okay. Okay. 
go back up here. Okay. I just went from I just went to this way. What is going on? If I go over here, it's not going to do anything. What? Are you dicking with me? The smell of exposed organs per permeates the entire hallway. Science lab. The door is move. The door is moving slightly and seems unlocked, but it won't open more than a tiny sliver. It appears as if something is blocking it from the other side. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm in control again. Admit it. You hate all of your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. I like to think not. Hello. Answer the phone. Why not? They, were, they did a really good job on the 3D binaural audio. Oh, it's on a repeat. Makes me wonder why her cell phone is going off when everybody else's signal has no service. Nothing's nothing's going to happen to her. I I promise nothing's going to happen to her. Just it's okay. I still don't know who you are. Even Sato, she dropped the phone.
Acquire Naomi's cell phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, the bathrooms are restored. The door is shut and locked. There is no indication of that anyone's inside. Okay, that says the same thing. That says the same thing. Okay. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Okay, that says the same thing. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. It's full of stagnant water that clearly has nowhere to go. The drain must be totally clogged, but with what? It's full of dirty human hairs with a thin white film of mold around each and every one of them. Yeah. There's a pair of broken eyeglasses on the ground. I wonder who those could belong to. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. Is that blood on the ground? I don't recall ever seeing that. I seriously don't recall there ever being some blood splats on the uh, ground there. The door is shut and locked. There is no <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. The door is shut and locked. There is no indication that anyone's inside. Okay, that says the same thing. You sense a presence behind the stall door. Kick it in!
Ryan, hold the wrap. Uh, hoist her up on her shoulders. I like how Satoshi just looks like a macho man from the pixel, just like. <laughs> no, don't stand on the bucket. She just kicked it. While still supporting Naomi on his shoulders with her upper body dripping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head, Satoshi reached behind him and fiddled with the knots at the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the gr rope's grip. Against all odds, it seemed that Naomi would live. You saved the day. She's so happy to see you. I'm gonna go with this. You don't remember? You don't remember what you were doing? I don't think you're gonna like the answer. Oh, 
さっき俺声を聞いたのに Yeah, it's best to get her down. Why does this song sound so familiar? Evidently not. What? Oh. You say probably not, as if you know something. That's probably what happened to you. Oh, 
当社の雰囲気が違うな Probably because you're in a different enclosed space. <laughs> uh, whew, excuse me. Slow down, she just got out from a noose. That's why I say slow down. Okay, this has been one really big cutscene, so I'm going to save it right here, and that'll be the end of the time that I have. Uh, there we go. Okay.
So, with that being said, we have gotten, I'd say, three, three name tags so far. So, really good progress. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. This has been another Corpse Party 100%-ish. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, why not subscribe today and leave a like down below. If you have any opinions you would like to share, then why not comment down below as well. And I will see you guys around in the next video. This is M Harper 94 like always, signing off.